Hi loves, what's up, what it do? It's your girl Mark Sinclair back again for another video. Okay, today is like one of those sit down, let's talk videos. Cause I got some stuff for you guys um, about moving and apartment hunting. Hopefully to answer some of you guys' questions cause all of y'all have been commenting in my comment area, which I love. But first let me say before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because that's important. And also hit the notification bell to let you know every time I make a post. Now that we got that out the way, I'm basically giving you guys my starter pack on basically adulting slash moving out by yourself slash how to find an apartment out of state. Just, you know, like apartment hunting starting pack. So if you haven't seen my previous video where I tell you how to find apartments, Check it out, you know, I'm gonna put it in a card or on the screen somewhere, but check it out. Um, and if you haven't seen my entire series on apartment hunting in the DMV, I have a whole playlist for you guys. So check that out as well. Y'all, hurry up, it's already started, come on. I'm here and I got the snacks. Oh, you <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> Send me some of those. Yeah, send me some of those. And, uh, and why you got that? Thing to do, and I'll be ready. Never mind all that. Scratch all that. Look at y'all. We already late. It's already started. Back to the show, Snipey. guide me through what I'm going to say so I have a friend <laughs> comment in my comment section asking questions and friends I'm just gonna call you friend because I don't want to butcher your name respects to you but I'm gonna put your name somewhere on the screen so friend so friend says can you please make a video on how to start furniture shopping shipping furniture when moving to an apartment from a different state I'm a beginner thank you so much I got you. And so I asked um, Fran to put like all their questions in the comment section and Fran obliged so much. Like they obliged. So um, I'm gonna read the comment and I'm gonna break this down and answer the questions as best as possible. And also give you my advice disclaimer. I will tell you I'm not a certified realtor. Like I'm just a person who like found their apartment or two apartments in like the same area. And you could use these same tactics, but everybody's tactics doesn't work necessarily for you. So you have to do your own research. So disclaimer, if it don't work out for you, don't blame me. This is just my advice and make sure you do your research for your own self as well. Cool. Our friend says, thank you so much for your reply. I'm literally a beginner. I'll do my best to word out the questions properly. I'm extremely lost about how to start this process. I'll be moving to a completely different, far away state for work purposes in one year. And I'm so clueless about how to start the process. Here it goes, okay. I've been there, it's okay. One, moving into an apartment in a different state. How to start looking for apartments in a completely different and unfamiliar area that you're supposed to move to because of your new job for any reason. Do we just look up the apartments that's in the area by Googling? For example, if I move to, if I move to a town from Philadelphia, do I just Google par apartments near blank? How should one start the virtual process besides Googling to make our lives easier? There are other ways, are there other ways besides Googling? Wow, this is like, I really didn't even get to read all this, but it's like one question in section A, B, C, and D. It's okay. Cause I literally had these same questions. Are there other ways besides Googling? All I know is the name of the town I'm gonna be moving to in my office location. Okay, so let's break this down. So moving to a completely different state. 
I don't know anything other to say but to Google. But what I did specifically was my previous job, I have a new job now, but my previous job was stationed in McLean, VA. So what I would do was just exactly what you're saying. I would uh, Google apartments near McLean. So in your case, you're looking at Philadelphia, apartments near Philly or F Philadelphia. Also look at surrounding areas. So I would even look at the map on Philadelphia and then look at surrounding areas around Philadelphia, like the city where your, your job is located, look at cities around it and judge how far you want to drive to your job because honestly when you're moving com completely different state you don't factor in um traffic you don't think about factoring in weather and how that affects your time to get to work or your time to just living in general figure out your distances and figure out how far you're willing to travel to get to work and how far you're willing to travel to get to other things i suggest living in a town that kind of has it all where the grocery store is kind of down the street um, in case you're going to a place that has snow, um, because I'm coming from the South, I, we don't do snow. Like we get snow sometimes, but everything shuts down. So like here, up here in the DMV, it snows, they still operate the same. So it's just like, yeah, figure that, <laughs> definitely figure it out. So like for me, um, like since I wanted to stay close to the job, so I definitely was in places, I was in McLean, McLean. Like I was like, nah. I don't know nothing about snow. I don't know how to drive in it. I don't know how to do anything. And I don't know where I'm going. So I literally was like, okay, I want to stay in McLean where the job was. Okay. And then I said, how far is a grocery store? And so, sometimes when you look at those apartments and when you find apartments, um, they have the neighborhood locations, like how far a grocery store is, how far schools are, how far like different things are away from them. So like they have that, they should have that either at the bottom of the apartment website or like in a little menu navigation section also you start using like third party websites apartment.com apartment list is what i used what i said in my last video rent.com all those different third party websites but sometimes the third party websites don't always have the apartment and um using google sometimes is your best bet like maps and google is your best bet it's a little tedious but it works, it works. And it's okay that you only know the name of the town and your office location, that's all I knew. I didn't have anyone to guide me. Actually, I did have like one person to guide me. I met her like during college, like briefly, and I connected with her, asked her so many questions, and she told me what cities not to stay in. One big tip is, and I use social media as a big preference too. I try not to stay anywhere where I thought where I was like not safe. So I will use like TikTok and be like hashtag places to stay or like not even hashtag but like search places to stay in Philly and TikTok and then like on Instagram you'd be a hashtag Philly towns or like some something like use social media to your leverage because it's just like Google it's a search engine so hopefully I got your whole question but um if not like comment down below guys if you have any advice for this person for our friend because you know like first and foremost apartments is so hard and we all we all have to go through looking for a different place to stay or just a new place to stay and being by ourselves one time in our like lives number two and these lights are killing my eyes <laughs> once decided what apartment i want to rent out how do i furniture shop i'm moving to an apartment in a far away state should i shop at those typical chains like Rainmore, because every state has them and shipping the furniture will become easier, okay? I would like to have my main furniture shopping done before my new job starts and before I physically move into my apartment. How do I start this? Basically, you're asking at different chain stores, like should you get your furniture where you are now, currently, and then ship that furniture to your new apartment or should you shop and then have it shipped to that apartment? Or should you wait? I'm, c I'm confused. I'm confused right now, G. Okay, I think that's what you're asking. And I can just tell you what I did. So most of my furniture 
I shifted myself. Because most of my furniture I had came from like a three bedroom house back in college. So I had like the beds and um, I had a couch set. I, it was my parents old couch set. So I actually got rid of it and I bought a new couch set and living room furniture. So um, for that, what I did was I actually bought furniture on Wayfair. At the time, Wayfair was not going through all that stuff they went through with like the whole scams and child issues, okay? I'm not gonna speak on that, but at the time they weren't. So I had bought my furniture from Wayfair and had it shipped to the apartment and it came because it was still in COVID. It came like a couple weeks after I started the job. There's like no perfect way to do that because because of COVID, a lot of the shipping, a lot of the furniture is kind of messed up and like, or just like buying stuff in general, you wait for a long time for it to get shipped to you. So there's no good way to start that. But if you want furniture like right then and there and you are not willing to wait, your pocket's gonna hurt. I would say shop at those stores. Um, like an Ashley home, um, like just any, like even if you want to go like the big lots, I don't suggest it, but even if you want to go to any of those chain stores and shop, your pockets might hurt just a little bit instead of doing it online. And also with online, you have people come put it in your house, you know, sometimes put it together. Um, people in Wayfair, they actually bring it to my apartment and set it where I wanted to and I had to put it together. I didn't act. I didn't pay for the assembly. So that was a load off my back because I lived in a high rise then. So that was just, yeah, carrying a couch and a chair set and an ottoman by myself, wasn't it? Um, but if you choose to go to the store, just know you'll run into a little issue sometimes because of COVID, still in COVID, some stores may not want to um ship it the way you think like put it in your house so you might have to carry it into your apartment for yourself or sometimes um they will or sometimes it'll cost you way more than what you budgeted for furniture shopping is always a big um issue because like furniture is mad expensive and but you want really nice furniture that can last you so my suggestion is um like i what I did was I started a mood board of what I wanted, like in my apartment. And then once I did that, I went and found websites, mostly it was Wayfair that fit my needs. And I said, I can live in my mind. I said I could live without uh, living room furniture because I still had like, I had my, um, my dining set, which was fine. And like, I had, um, I had my bed so I could I had places to sit just not traditionally so um I basically waited it was me that waited but for furniture shopping I also say use your resources too because the Facebook marketplace is really good a lot of my friends have used Facebook marketplace for their furniture and they love it and I wish I would have used that and not traditionally Wayfair it's like so many different avenues of how to furniture shop. I'm not going to necessarily make this decision for you. If you should either have it like shipped to your apartment while you're in your other place. Or if you should shop at the different um, places. You know like I think you just should weigh your options in that, that moment. Like weigh your options. Do you Do you want the hassle of going into a store trying to find what you think you like and not being possibly not being able to have it because it's it's like sold out or could you possibly order it online wait some time because of covid and then get it and also you have to think about arrival times because um my furniture said it was going to get here by the time i got here and it didn't so I was out without furniture for like a month. Yeah, like a month. And then um, sometimes people's furniture gets to their apartment before they move in. And so you gotta speak to your leasing agent and see if they can hold your furniture. Like it's it's a lot. Like, like 
definitely um you have to wait it out <laughs> like that's something you have to wait out um i i suggest that you just you buy it while you're in your old with your old place and have it shipped because i don't like hassle um and sometimes i don't like going to the stores and picking out furniture because you can like a piece that's on the show floor room and they don't have it anymore i run into that so but that's just me like i can't make that decision for you so i'm gonna move on to your next question after selecting and getting furniture delivered while still not being physically there at your new apartment due to it before in a far away state nah i read that right <laughs> how does the delivery process look when furniture is delivered I mean, do you stay in touch virtually and call your apartment management to make sure your furniture has been delivered to your apartment? Do you call the management to position the furniture in your apartment when delivery comes? I'm sure they keep your apartment locked so new furniture doesn't get stolen. I'm confused how delivery works and when you can't physically be there. It really depends on your, your apartment management. I haven't met anyone who would, if your furniture delivers early, I haven't met anyone who will unlock your door and sit it in there because some people say out of like security reasons, it's a thing. This apartment that I stay in now won't even, didn't even let me come in early to clean, which was weird to me. I was like, it's COVID and I want to clean my apartment that I've leased and you approved me for. What's the liability? So you literally have to like, once you buy your furniture and you've decided that it's going to be delivered because it looks like you're leaning towards the delivered part because you're out of state, you literally have to be just be very honest with your management and say, hi, I am, um, I am new to the city, new to the state. I live out of town. I won't be able to get this furniture in case it comes early would you mind letting it stay or even if you could put it in my apartment like and just let it be there they're not going to position it for you that's that's the that's the question you ask they're not going to position it for you usually the movers the people who deliver the furniture will ask you where you want it and uh you could just tell them where you want to put it down but uh, most of the time when you order furniture nowadays the furniture is going to come unassembled so you have to put it together unless you order the assembly. So it still will come unassembled, but um, the people will put it together in your apartment. Um, but your management won't like position it for you. They might just put it in your apartment, you know, just for you to have it. But you have to talk to them like that. You just have to be honest and just tell them, yo, I'm out of state. Like, I just need some help. When you're finding your apartment, I would say if you can, fly out to your state that you're moving to to view your apartment before you physically decide this is yours. I am not apartment sight and scene person buyer. Like, I, and I don't suggest that for anybody because what they put on the website might not necessarily match what you get. I'm just being honest because like my apartment here, it had green walls and it was so pretty and like it, it looks nothing like the site. Like the pictures on the site, they have so many different types of models and they only put one model on the site. So I wouldn't suggest you just looking at the website. If you narrow it down to three and then you fly out and say, okay, I'm just going to see these apartments basically have your eyes need to look at them apartments your eyes yours um nobody else's not virtually don't let nobody facetime you someone tried to do me a virtual apartment viewing i said no because i was like i can't judge the spacing i can't really tell if you know that's what i want from your video like and then when you have realtors sometimes they like with the video they might not even show you like the real thing like you you're not able to open up the cabinets and see if there are roaches or rats in there like with the virtual thing so definitely definitely fly out to your apartment you didn't ask this question you didn't ask this question but 
pregame. So when your delivery comes, like you'll either get notified. Usually they notify you just like just like how Amazon does and it tells you like, oh, we dropped off your delivery. They'll notify you like so you just again, you have to be upfront with your leasing manager and just be like, my furniture may come early. So um, is there a way that the furniture just can be put in my apartment um, if it does come early? Just be honest. That's And the worst they can say is no. And then if they say no, that is before you buy it. This is all these questions, you like all these things you need to say to your manager, to the management before. So like, and I'm saying this before because if it comes and you're telling them like, oh my man, my... Furniture might come early, and if it comes, and they be like, "No, you can't do that." What you gonna? Where your furniture gonna go? So like, say, ask these questions beforehand. Like, these same questions are like these same questions about furniture, and if it if they'll open up the apartment for you, ask them when you're looking for apartments. Um, and if they say no, you can't do that then you got to ship your furniture to you and you have to move it up with you. Cause, and and I just rented a U-Haul and had like two men in a truck load my U-Haul up. Me and my parents and family drove my car and the U-Haul up here and I had two men in a truck unloaded. And to me, instead of having them drive because the miles would have ate my wallet up, having them just unload and unload may depending on your mileage because they charge you per mile may help you like i moved july so i tried to buy my furniture like june like middle of june um and it really i can't really tell you how delivery times works because everything's so messed up with covid so um you just got to figure out Oh, the oh, like Wayfair would tell you. I'm just literally trying to figure out how that works. Wayfair will tell you, um, like, oh, we'll be delivered in this amount of weeks or this amount of days, or you'll see it on this estimated day. It might be later than that, it might be earlier than that, but you have an estimated day, so it'll tell you, um, the website that you use if you use the website. But usually, if you go into the store, they'll tell you, like, just ask them when. How long does it take for delivery time? Last question. I have one year to select my new apartment and move in. How early should I start the, this process? How early should I sign the lease? Keeping delivery time and all in mind. For example, if my start date of my new job is February 2023. How early should I start my apartment hunting in your opinion now? In my opinion, you should start apartment hunting now. And when I say that, because as soon as I got my job and they gave me the offer, I started apartment hunting then. So if you start in 2023, you don't necessarily have to start now, but I like to see my options, you know? And um, I'll be like, and with apartment hunting, I like to see like what's out there. For, for example, like I don't really know anything about Philly. I'm sorry. But like for me, I was like, oh, I like these granite countertops. Is there any place with granite countertops? And also, you could have your eye on a place and when the next week it could be gone. Like legit, like that could be gone. So like with apartment hunting, you just, I will say if you start, you said February 23 and 3. It's 2022. You don't necessarily got to start now. I'm saying now, but because I like to get it. I'm a planner. I like to get early things in. But 2023 is February. It's February now. So you don't necessarily have to start now. Because like I feel like over time, your options are going to change because apartments are going to get snatched up. Um, Honestly, prime time for you to shop for apartments is like... I want to say November for me in, in this area was November because it seemed like all the rent prices went down. Um, it They went down 
because of COVID, but they also rose if you were staying in an apartment. Like the market rose, but it went down at the same time. Anyway, so like I would say if you can't get an apartment a year in advance, you can't hold an apartment a year in advance. Um, from my experience. Now, you never know until you ask. <laughs> But from my experience, I haven't seen an apartment being held for a year in advance. So, like, if it's February 2023 that you got to move in, like, that's when your job starts. I would say you at least need to be in your apartment if you give you enough time to unpack and get settled. Really, if you can get in your apartment by January 15th. 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 31st. That is, that is 10, 16 days. But that's basically like two, three weeks. If you can give yourself like two weeks um, to be moved in and like you just like kind of just gathering everything. It took me a weekend to move into my second apartment. So I'm saying like. If you give yourself like two weeks to get settled, learn your area, um, unpack, do everything you need to do, get your paperwork ready for, for work. When it's time for you to, to work, you won't be stressed out, right? You won't be unpacking during work. Know that your furniture might not come in when you want it, but that's okay because everything else is unpacked, right? So I would say if you would start looking at apartments maybe three four months in advance three four months in advance before you start your job and try to be settled in your apartment by mid january or mid month like a mid month before or like even give yourself like three weeks before or two weeks before i think you'll be straight i just know me my stressors I, like me moving into my second apartment in a weekend and then going to work like the next day it was just really horrible like i i was just like really tired and it takes a lot out of you especially if you're moving by yourself like my second apartment i moved by myself and no one helped me unpack no one helped me pack up i packed up in like a week i moved myself in a weekend and unpacked in a weekend and monday i was back at work and i never really recovered from that like sleep <laughs> so um but i did appreciate my first move in where i i started um my job in july and um i moved out i want to say no i started my yeah i started my job in july and i moved out june um but i like but i didn't give myself enough time to i didn't i didn't have as much time as you did like to to have a job offer because literally i got my job offer beginning of june and they was like when can you start and i was like i need like i need until the end of july and they were like okay because you, yeah you gotta move right and i'm like yeah and they didn't want to give me that so <laughs> legit the the fact that you have time start looking and getting in your mind what you want out of an apartment setting budgets saving saving for all of this, if like, cause some jobs don't give you relocation, anything, but like if you can save and budget very well for your apartment, you can literally get everything you want and in an apartment and, but also you have to factor in like how much you're making and all that other things. You literally can get everything you want if you, you budget and save and start thinking in your mind what you want. Do you want a studio apartment, one bedroom, two bedroom, whatever, like, or do you want to be close to this like if i live in a rich district how much would i be paying and like really think about your wants and needs and i say that all the time your wants and needs are very important but also think about what you can live without can i live without granite concepts in my case no <laughs> like in, in this case in my new apartment now I really wanted a balcony or somewhere I can be outside because I really was tired of like the four walls and not being able to have something that reminded me of home and outside is really big. So like I wanted a patio or an area just like a patio or a balcony or something and I got it. So that was something I couldn't live without in my second move. But what I did give up 
And my second move was um, like nice flooring in the bathroom. And I, I settled for a second best bathroom in order to have the patio. So like you have to figure out your needs and your wants and what you can and can live without. Figure out, you know, like your budget, how much you want to spend in rent a month, how much you want to spend in utilities a month. Does your utilities um, factor into your rent? Parking, do you have a car? Do you have a car? You know, like you have to pay for parking. Um, if you're coming from a state that does not snow and so you're not used to snow, would you live, would you be okay with parking outside when it's snowing? Or would you want a parking garage? In my case, I want a parking garage because I know I can't deal with snow. I know don't know how to shovel my car out of snow. I don't know how to drive in snow. I don't know what to do. So one thing I could not compromise on is having a parking garage. When everybody else's car is covered in snow and it won't start and it's rusty and it's cranky and all this other crap, my car is just a roaming on, zooming on by just fine because <laughs> it was it's in a parking garage. So like all of those things factor into that. Um, how close you want to be to your job? How, how far away you want to be to your job? And to also think about like the neighborhoods that you're gonna stay in because like like last my last apartment was in McLean, which was the rich upscale district. In my opinion, the people were kind of rude. In my opinion, I did not have like a real community where I felt like. I felt safe, but I also felt like I didn't belong. And um, it was just like, I wasn't used to that. And it was also so busy. It was so busy and so loud. And now like here where I am is kind of calm and like, I don't hear that much noise. And so, um, so think about that. Like, think about that. Like we always want the dream aesthetic apartment, but you'll understand that aesthetics are so played out sometimes. When it comes to your peace of mind. Um, so in my opinion. Start your apartment hunting. Give yourself like. Three four months. Of hunting. Be settled. Like be settled. Like two or three weeks in advance. If you could be settled a month in advance. They really get your footing and unpack. And that could be time to unpack and unwind. And learn your neighborhood. You'll be great. And uh, hopefully I answer all your questions <laughs> very well. I was there to see back here and I was like, I'm going to have a conversation with them. But I, hopefully I answer all your questions. And um, you guys, if you ever want any advice, hopefully this was good. But if you ever want any advice, definitely hit up my comment section. This person, my friend, they were really great about having questions. Now, you know. With these lights and everything, I low key can't read. You know, like it definitely probably wasn't friend, it probably was me. But <laughs> um, hopefully I answered your question. Again, disclaimer, still do your own research. Um, if you have any other questions, hit it in the comment section. But I say good luck to you. Congratulations on your new job. Congratulations on your new venture. It's to me it's so fun to get out into a new city and experience new different things and new life i was literally scared out of my mind when i first moved from the wing of my parents and um but i found my footing where i am in my second move which was really cool um in my first move not so much but you know everything's not perfect it was cool but everything else perfect. but i wish you nothing but the best and hopefully this journey is so 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 amazing um and yeah congratulations and congratulations to everyone who's getting new apartments and living their best lives hey y'all y'all doing it y'all doing a thing for sure <laughs> all right guys uh again if you need any more advice hit up in the comment section hopefully i did well if i didn't let me know <laughs> okay love you lots be breezy remember god got you you got this don't stress we all been here. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Be crazy. Bye.